Have Samsung just killed DeX on their tablets? Let's go. Yesterday, I installed One UI 8 on my Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. I was so curious to test Samsung DeX because of the new DeX that they brought in a couple of years ago. Jeez, it's been that long? 18 months ago now. And with One UI 7, there was no update. There was still classic DeX alongside new DeX. Sad news. Samsung on the tablets have killed classic DeX. But there's some good news and some silver linings to go with that. So let's dive into it. So new DeX is basically replacing the interface on the tablets. This very early build, and I stress it is so early that this isn't really meant for public consumption. It's full of bugs and not final, but it does give us a showcase of where Samsung are heading with DeX on their tablets. On this build here, classic DeX is gone. You have standard One UI 8, which is the tablet interface that we've had for the longest time, which runs exactly as the way One UI 8 does. Only difference now is Samsung have enabled the fact that you can swipe anywhere on the screen to bring down notifications. And then the far right corner is your quick panel. What you do notice though, is when you try to go into the quick panel and find DeX to activate the DeX environment, it only brings the wireless DeX option up. There is no option to launch DeX from the quick panel on the tablet itself. So that begs the question, where is it? Well, Samsung have kind of baked it into One UI 8 and the tablet's UI. It is no longer DeX and then new DeX and then One UI. It is basically just a desktop experience. That new DeX experience has replaced classic DeX and it's also going to replace One UI, in my opinion. One UI 8 is still there. At least the One UI interface is still there. But when you swipe up and go to the recents, that's when you see what Samsung are doing. As you swipe across, you have all the recent apps that you see there from a mobile side of things, but then you switch into desktop. So you have desktop one, desktop two, desktop three, and you can add up to four desktops. So desktop four via the plus button that you see at the end. The whole point of this is that you now have multiple desktop interfaces that you can go between. However, those desktop interfaces do not resemble Samsung DeX. They resemble new DeX from One UI last year. That could be a bit of a problem because the way Samsung DeX works, especially classic DeX, is it has a desktop environment. You have the taskbar down the bottom. You have an app drawer. You have the option to sort of make a desktop and a home screen. It's pretty much like a PC interface. Not anymore. Now you have the taskbar minimalized down the bottom and then apps open up in a windowed environment in the same way that New Dex did last year. There's some added benefits. There's some added benefits into this in what they've done in that you now can have multiple workspaces for multiple sort of types of work. So if you wanted to work on notes or if you wanted to photo edit, you could have them separate. One desktop can be for note taking. The other desktop can be for video editing or photo editing in the gallery and you can create those environments separately and independently of each other. It's not flawless yet. At the moment, like I said, it's a very early build, so it's not holding things open in their space all the time. So I imagine as the build progresses and software develops, when it's final and ready to be released, we'll see it all polished. There is nifty little ways of adding things into those desktop environments. So if you open it in the base One UI, there's a little sort of two lines at the top. You hold that down, and then it will drag it into a desktop and then it'll have it in a windowed format. And then if you wanted to remove it from that, you hit the thing at the top, the little icon of the app and hit remove from workspace and it segments it back into full screen, into full version of One UI. At the moment, jumping between desktops is okay, but if you wanna go back to standard One UI, you have to select an app from the recents menu to go back to it. It's a bit convoluted, but again, this is very early, so I'm not reading too much into that. You see the concept of what they're trying to do. When new DeX launched last year, I honestly thought they were just going to replace standard One UI and have that be the base interface. And in some ways, that's what we've got. But in other ways, it's not quite there yet, but it will be. Disappointingly though, classic DeX is nowhere to be seen on the tablet itself. To get to classic DeX, you have to plug it in into an external monitor. Because once you do that, then classic DeX will actually launch on the monitor itself and the standard interface stays on the tablet.
Huh. This can use external monitors now. And Samsung are promising that they're going to actually work together. But like I said, this very early build, it's not there yet. Because when I tried to sort of move things up and down between the displays, it will show when you drag it down into the other display, almost like a ghost, but it won't actually physically let you take it all the way down. So it's not quite there yet. But the whole idea is you'll be able to open an app on the tablet screen maybe, and then drag it up into the monitor and vice versa. You can take it back the other way. There is a way to do that without needing to drag and drop it. Again, via the app icon, you can say send to other display, and then it'll just shift it across up to the top or to the bottom where it depends on what the other display is. Again, inside Dex Classic on the monitor, there's multiple desktops that you can create. If you've created a desktop on the tablet, it's grayed out. You can't launch it on the Dex screen. In fact, actually, what I think it might be is if it's the one that's open on your tablet screen, you can't then open it on the Dex screen. They have to run separately. But you can operate any of the ones either side of it. So if you have Desktop 2 and Desktop 4 that aren't on the tablet, they can be accessed and launched on the Classic Dex environment up on the monitor. And then Classic Dex is the way One UI 8 Dex works on the phones now. So I've already done a full video on that. You can go and check that out. I hope this whole desktop sort of one, two, three, and four makes its way to the phones as well. I guess we'll find out after I'm packed on the new devices, whether that's the case or not. Disappointingly though, the, the DeX settings menu is quite limited. There's no way to really segment the DeX settings out. You can reposition where your display is, which is quite nice. You can drag and drop it to where it actually represents itself in terms of your environment. And then that's what allows you to drag and drop apps between the two. But like I said, at the moment, not quite operational just yet. But I imagine by the final build, it will be. If you have the keyboard cover and the DeX button is on this keyboard cover, pressing it will go between the desktop environment and the standard One UI environment. But it doesn't launch DeX because, like I said, there's no classic DeX. But pressing that button will transition between new DeX and also One UI. So if you have a keyboard cover, you can use that button still, and that's what it does. This exact same setup extends itself into the wireless DeX operation, where when you launch wireless DeX, it casts it onto the monitor, and you get that sort of extended monitor with classic DeX, and then you get your secondary monitor in here. I'm glad that they are trying to connect the two together. In previous versions of the tablet and with the DeX experience, the tablet and the deck screen pretty much operated independently. You could flow the mouse between them, but that was about it. Now it seems like what they're trying to do is truly create that extended workflow between the two. I just wish it was working right now because I actually would love to start using it and sort of have the base tablet here be like a content machine or like something to take notes and then maybe drag things on and drag things back and forth like files. I'd love to be able to have a gallery open down the bottom and drag and drop it, but as I said, it's not working yet. So I remember making a video about Samsung saying, please save DeX a while ago. And part of my wish list was that ability to flow apps between displays. So it seems like we're almost there. Samsung are sort of trying to do something with it. I wish though that you could have two DeX environments, classic DeX on the tablet, classic DeX on the monitor, and then two could interchange with each other. Not a sort of watered down new DeX experience on the tablet, and then the classic decks on the monitor. It's kind of weird that there's that disconnect. Although I like the fact that you've got windowed apps on the tablet and then windowed classic decks apps on the monitor. That's kind of close. So we'll see where Samsung head with this as the builds progress. And of course, when it gets to its final version, I will show you it all. So make sure you hit subscribe to Tech With Benefits. Lots of stuff coming up in the next couple of months, rest of the year extending into next year and I will see you guys in the next one.